Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back with a new video today. And uh, today's video, I'll be talking about something I witnessed a little while back, fairly recently, fairly disgusting. Like, to be quite honest, this actually almost happened to me, specifically. And if this was to happen to me, I don't quite know how I'd react. I, I think it's the one time I'd actually get angry. You know, if someone does something a little bit annoying to me, I get a little bit salty, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think I've ever went on like a rampage of breaking my fucking hand in eight places because I hit the wall so much because I was that enraged. But this whole situation slash story I'm about to tell you guys about was pretty fucking ridiculous and just, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like if you do, and here it is. So this started as a very normal, awesome night. It was around two months ago, I was just hanging out at my house, making a video, and I got a text from one of my friends inviting me to a bonfire he was having. He was having like, I think, eight or nine people coming over, so it's gonna be a little bit of a big bonfire. And he mentioned something in the text message about something hilarious happening there, something that was just gonna be so funny that I had to come through and see it. And I was like, alright dude, let's do this, right? So I went over to this bonfire, a lot of people were already there, I was pretty much one of the last people to show up, and I hang out with my friends, we're just sitting there. A few people were making s'mores just because they were that bored and they were just, you know, hungry, I guess. And I was just sitting there, literally doing nothing. I was kind of on my phone because it was a little bit awkward because, like, people were talking about stuff I had nothing to do with. So I'm just, like, sitting there trying to, like, laugh along and understand what they're talking about. But a lot of it was, like, inside jokes. But after a little bit of that, one of my friends came up to me and he was like, yo, are you going to smoke with us later? I was like, I don't know, man, maybe. Who's us? And he starts naming all these people at this place. And one of the people there, I'm just going to call him fucking Alex because I don't know what else to call him. Just give him a name. But Alex was someone that, like, just was completely against smoking anything. Like, he would never touch weed, never touch cigarettes, never touch a vape. It just wasn't his thing. So when he said his name and that he was going to be smoking weed with them this night, I was like, there's no way. And I said something. I was like, wait, Alex is going to smoke with you guys? And my friend starts laughing. I was like, why is that funny? I'm like, you guys, like, peer pressure him into it or something? He's like, no, not really. Like, he wants to try it. I was like, dude, go up to him. Tell him he doesn't have to. And if he still wants to try it on his own, then you guys can. But don't make him, like, do something he doesn't want to do. He's like, yeah, you're right, man. You're right. I'll ask him. He's like, do you still want to watch even if you don't want to smoke? I was like, sure. He's like, all right. And he just kind of goes back inside the house. And I guess that was to go talk to Alex or something. I have no idea if he talked to him or not. But the time came where they were all going to smoke. I went out front with them. And Alex was there with them. And he looked a little bit nervous. So I don't know if they talked to him or not about it, but he was still going to try it. So I was just sitting there like waiting and my friend comes up to me and he goes, yo, come inside really quick. And it was one of the friends who like had the weed and stuff and he was going to be smoking with them. So I was wondering why he was asking me to come inside, but he's like, just come on. And he drags me inside. He's like, yo, we're doing something that's going to be hilarious. I was like, all right, what are you going to do? And he whips his iPhone out and he goes on YouTube and he shows me a video that I've seen before. If you guys don't know, you know the rapper MGK? He made this video back in the day with Steve-O and they did this prank where they basically shaved their pubic hair and put it into a joint, okay? Like a fucking, made it look like weed pretty much and made their friends smoke it. And it was a pretty fucked up prank and I would never imagine anyone that I know pulling that off. So when my friend showed me this video, I was like, dude, there's no fucking way you guys are doing that. What are you doing? My friend's like, yep, and he pulls this little fucking joint out, and I'm like, dude, you guys are disgusting. I was like, who's even in on this? He's like, oh, just me and this kid. I was like, so you two are going to prank pretty much everybody at this little bonfire with pube weed. Like, that's just so gross. And he's like, yeah, well, we're just going to pretend like we don't want to do it and let them smoke it and let the hilarity ensue. I was like, that's not hilarity. That's fucking horrible. And then I realized, I'm like, wait, it's Alex's first time, and you guys are going to do this to him? That's so messed up. He's like, no, nah, he'll think it's so funny. And keep in mind, he was pranking, like, 60% of his party. Like, everyone at this bonfire was pretty much outside, except, like, two people still sitting in the back. So me and everyone else was pretty much out there, except a couple people that didn't want to smoke. So we go outside, and he tells him, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be smoking. I just, I did too much today anyway. I'm going to take a little break. And he gives this joint to one of the people, and this kid starts it. He lights it, and he takes a hit. And I just can't even imagine the taste. I don't even want to think about it. But he starts smoking it. No problems. He didn't say, oh, what's that taste? He didn't be like, oh, what's it smell? It's not weed. But no, he just kept smoking it, just passing it along. And it got to the point where it was at my friend Alex. And I was like, yo. And he brings his ear up to me and I whisper. I'm like, do not touch that fucking joint. I was like, pass it to someone right now. He's like, okay. And he gave the joint to someone else. He's like, why'd you make me do that? I was like, just don't touch that stuff, okay? And one other person was like, why are you whispering to him? And he yelled that out, and everyone saw that I was whispering to this kid. And now everyone's looking at me, and I have to come up with something on the spot to try and save both of our asses and everyone pulling the prank's ass. So I was like, oh, it's his first time, and I just don't want him having a bad experience, so I told him to pass it along. He's starting to have a little bit of an anxiety attack, so I don't want him freaking out on anyone. And everyone's like, oh, okay, and they keep smoking. And I'm like, how the fuck did that work? But they keep smoking, and it gets to the one person who hasn't hit it yet. 
And he takes one hit and he's like, why does this taste so weird? And my friend smiles and he's like, oh, it's some really good shit, dude. Like, it's got some stuff in there. And the kid's like, wait, what? What stuff? And everyone kind of starts freaking out because they think that he means like something really hard, like a fucking weird hard drug. And my friend's like, oh, you know, like, like that good shit. And this guy's like, dude, stop fucking around and just tell us what's inside of it. He's like, you know, like some of that fuzz OG. And I was like, oh my fucking fuzz OG. Like anything else would have worked, but fuzz OG. And he whips his phone out and he starts showing them the original prank. And everyone bugged out immediately. Pretty much everyone ran inside to get drinks because they just found out that they smoked someone else's fucking pubic hair, which is just disgusting. And everyone's freaking out. And my friend's like, dude, you saved my ass. My friend Alex, he's like, you saved my ass. I was like, yeah, buddy, that's kind of why I said that. He's like, I didn't want to smoke in the first place. And I was like, well, glad I could help. And my friend's sitting there dying laughing on the fucking ground. Both of them are sitting there laughing because they're the two idiots that conducted the whole thing. And they're just sitting there laughing their asses off. And everyone comes back out and basically starts kind of kicking the shit out of him. Not like punching him dead in the face, but, you know, hitting him while he's on the ground. And the one guy that basically, you know, busted the whole thing and said that it tasted funny made him get up and give him a free punch to the face. So... They got their revenge. Like, he got hit in the fucking face in return for letting everyone smoke his fucking pubic hair, which is just still unbelievable to me. And the funny part is, the other kid that also helped, and, you know, there was two that basically made this whole thing, and the other kid didn't have anything done. He just got to sit there and laugh while his friend took the hit. But, uh, I don't know how they didn't notice it sooner. Apparently, it had real weed in it, too, like, mixed in, so it tasted like weed and pubic hair. Ugh, dude. But, yeah. Really fucking nasty shit, but... Apparently, my friends think they're jackass or something. I have no idea why they thought that'd be a good idea. It's not even a prank at that point. It's like just being horrible. But I thought you guys would enjoy hearing about this because I fucking laugh my ass off every time I talk about this with my friends. So I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.